Record stores. They arouse a nostalgic feeling in everyone. Most have the notion that record stores only have, well, records, but upon arrival to nearly any in the country, you realize that they have much more than that. In addition to records, they have cassettes, CDs, DVDs, and a wide array of memorabilia from all corners of entertainment. One such store is Doc's Records, an independent establishment in Fort Worth that has over 20,000 albums of vinyl to choose from. I started the store with my dad in 2006, and then we were in Hearst originally, and then we moved to uh, Montgomery Street, over there by the stockyards in like 2009, I think? And we were there for two years, and then... Uh, I think we moved here, and then everything signed over to me, and now I am the sole proprietor. So what separates this store from any other in this area? Um, we're awesome. We'll lead with that. Number two, uh, we have larger stock than most, um, stores. Staff's friendly. Um, the pricing's good. We always put out clean stock, and... I try and price stuff reasonably. We got sleeves on all our records, which is nice, so they don't get all, you know, sleeve wear and stuff. And, oh yeah, we have cool parties, live music. But to fully appreciate this disappearing art, you must understand the history of recording music. The first records, now known as 78s, first came out in 1925. Records are classified by their RPMs, or rotations per minute, hence the name 78. The long playing LP 33 and one third RPM record arrived in 1948, and by 1949 the 7 inch 45s hit the market. 1962 saw the first major step away from vinyl records as the first compact cassettes came out. As opposed to a record, cassettes were much more portable and easy to produce. The final blow to records came in 1982 in the form of compact discs or CDs. Vinyl records are made of a highly damageable material that can be scratched easily, thereby creating that broken record sound. In addition, nothing could ever completely repair the grooves on the disc. CDs, on the other hand, can be repaired to a certain extent. Based on these facts, why would anyone want to buy records anymore? Oh, uh, records, everybody's going to give you, I've heard this a million times, it's like, records have that warm sound, which is, you know, it's true, but uh, a CD file can only hold, like, so much information. Whereas, like, the groove of a record can hold a lot more information. Um, and, again, you know, it's like if you have a $30,000 turntable, it's going to sound really good. Uh, but, you know, it, it just kind of, yeah, it depends on your, your type of turntable you have, type of CD you have. But I think that, uh, I mean, the artwork, it's, it's just something cool to, you know, have. And, you know, you can go look through, look, look through it, look at the liner notes. Um, it's, just, it's kind of like a subculture um, in a way. It's just hard to explain, but... If you ever start collecting records you're gonna be like oh I need more records and then at some point you're gonna get into hoarder stage which I think I'm at like level three hoarder to us they represent a piece of history that should never disappear Jenkins Boyd the current owner of Doc's Records, shares the same belief today the store is doing well with their massive assortments of CDs records cassettes and other miscellaneous items but nowadays everything has gone digital the day of going out and purchasing a hard copy of an album is going extinct so the question is why would you go to a record store instead of downloading music digitally? It's way more fun. Like, seriously, it's like downloading music. It's, it's pretty boring. I mean, it's cool hearing stuff, but I'd much rather go to the record store. I mean, you know, just go in there, have fun. You know, you get to get hip to new new music all the time, talk to the people. It's, it's I don't know. I don't download music. Maybe, I don't know. If I ever tried it, I might like it more. I'm not sure. So do you think it is important to keep record stores alive? as time goes on yes so, people have been coming to record stores for years man it's like it's a good place to come hang out um I, tons of customers come in once twice a week just to come in and you know shoot the breeze and look at records and talk about records listen to different stuff and you know, a lot of people get get excited about coming in and see what new things we have and what new things we can recommend and um just all kinds of it's just, it's just a good environment to be in you know, uh, it's nice to it's nice to get out of the house and go hang out with like-minded people. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah, it's uh, I think that'll I think it'll stick around. I hope it does. Uh, should be interesting to find out. 
From here we move into the future. Will everything go digital or will there be something left for those of us that like to keep it old school? Um, I, I think it'll probably stay good for a good while. I mean, the next, uh, the next 30 years or so, I think it's probably going to be good. You know, once, uh, you know, there's obviously a generation of, you know, 10 and younger. Are, they, I mean, they might get into it. I'm not sure. They might want to start listening to records. I mean, most, most of my clientele is probably 15 to 30. And uh, you know, they really enjoy it, and hopefully they can, you know, get their kids into it or whatever. And I'll be in business for the rest of my life. But uh, you know, who knows? That's very uh, question I ask myself every day, making plans. You know, Just be like, all right, what's gonna happen? It's kind of scary, but uh, you know, there's always uh, there's stuff to do. But I think it'll I think it'll go for a while. If it doesn't, I'll just be here lonely, listening to records by myself. I'm okay with, be nice.